What is up everyone? As from the last video you guys would know that we are here in Japan for the thrash racing event this coming weekend. And if you guys watched the last video, you saw that me, Tom and Josh, Front Street here, all got cars. We're gonna, well, get these things ready this week. Everyone's getting right to it. We literally just ended the last video, so. No time to waste here. So we got Tom, what are you up to right now? I'm installing these GK Tech arms on my car and they're gonna be great and everything's gonna work. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna break anything. It's probably gonna end up being a trans. <laughs> but it won't be the arms, look how beefy these things are. Josh working on his car for us, what are you doing? I see you got fuel lines and stuff. Yeah, so car almost burnt down last time. I had some sketchy like AN hose, like one of those like slip fit type things yeah, and it popped them. off like mid faint so. You said it was hard to find fuel line here? Yeah, so I imported it from America. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys are coming to Japan. Did you pay on that? You hid that thing in a suitcase. I have this 12 volt hardwire kit for the fuel pump because S chassis are- Oh, that's a good idea. I should have brought one. Yeah, so I got a plug and play from uh, this company, Keyed Performance, so. As we left off, you guys saw my S14 Soviet, right? And though a lot has gotten done on it, there's still a couple things we need to button up to get this thing all truth ready for this weekend. So one of the biggest things was my manifold is cracked. So I just got this thing off, it went pretty smoothly. So as you guys can tell, this thing has had a lot of heat cycles. The tad it's fun and old tubular manifolds go, they, they crack. It's hard to tell, but it's, it's all cracked down there. Things cracked up here too. They just get fatigued, you know, the weight of the turbo and boom, they start to crack. So, got the old turbo out. This thing actually is pretty good shape. There's no shaft play on it, even though it looks like it's been used and abused, but. You got me this really, really pretty manifold. I don't know anything about it. Josh was really hyped about it. I mean, it's got this really pretty collector. It's got these like slip fit fans. They got these slip fit, it's got the slip fit fan, <laughs> the slip fit flanges on it. Sorry, I'm still running out of five hours of sleep. Josh should have sounded really cool. And I guess that's half the battle with SRs, right? Just making them sound cool. You're getting this thing on. We got all new gaskets because we're not playing games here. As I'm working on this thing, it's like getting more real. Like this is mine, dude. Like this is, it's gonna be the funnest week ever, so. Excited. Turbo is on, all the pipes in, had to put the power steering pump in and all together. Some questionable crush washers, so we'll see how that seals up. It's looking good. Just, it's a looking messy, but it's looking good. <laughs> We're getting somewhere. I'm exhausted. The dirt on your face says that. <laughs> Quick update, Tom. You've been busy. What have you been doing? I installed all the GK tech stuff. That's how you do it here. <laughs> what do you mean here? Your, your car at home is the same space as. I guess I do. <laughs> GK Tech high tension rods up front, which are awesome, so we don't have to worry about those getting in the way with the high angle. Making my car low style. Low style? <laughs> you don't have enough bumper clearance to make it low. <laughs> I don't know what Josh has been doing, but uh, he's been the, doing it for a while. the first thing he said was three, four hours ago was like, oh, I got five minutes, I'll come help you guys. And, <laughs> and there's three guys over there. So. I'm pretty sure Josh hanging out in the office, so I don't know how he sucked three people into working on this car. <laughs> what are you guys doing over here? We're just uh, drilling some holes. Doing. That's what life's all about, drilling so holes, so you know? Holes and filling holes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so I had to disrupt the video very quickly because, well, this Friday, the 12th at 12.30 p.m., we will be dropping our new design to commemorate our Japan trip. This design is so I good. Love this. this is one of my favorite designs in a really, really long time. And, well, we this one's a pretty small batch. Uh, so if you guys want to cop a tea, not just a tea, we also have the Windbreaker. Oh, it's so good. So remember, of course, pop below, shop Jimmy O, and catch one before it's too late. Another company we gotta show love to because they showed a lot of love to us is BT Racing. So my car has some old 10. Teen. Teen, 10, teen? Tiny, teen. Teen. Oh, you heard it from the source. Teen. 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 Okay, street coil over, but of course, 
We can always upgrade to BC Racing. We got a custom set here, spec'd out just for this car. A, a really nice balance of what we want to do with this car. And uh, if you guys want to have a similar set, hit them up. Jimmy O spec here. Well, nothing beats a set of fresh BCs on a car, so. I'm mean, really excited to put these things in. The razor blades are rare. <laughs> da, 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 da. I'm so hyped that we got these things shipped here. Love that. Also, the best thing you could do if you ever come to Japan and work on a car. Power tools. Bring a power, bring power tools. Shout out to Josh for bringing this in a suitcase because uh, power tools in Japan, very hard to find. <laughs> Dude, it's so cool to have a set of fresh BCs on my Japan car. This side, I think it can go oh, you know, lower. Um, these front wheels, this color looks it, sick on it. It does, yeah. But you want to trade that? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed that it has dual caliper on it. Oh shit. What the heck? Is there a handbrake in here? I thought it just had stock handbrake. Me too. Maybe it's just stock handbrake location? Huh. Oh look, they're not hooked up. It's just sitting there? Yeah. Japan, man. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. If I wanted to put like a... I mean, I feel like in Japan, like using your stock handbrake is like... The move. The move. But like... It has the caliper, so if I wanted to put an actual handbrake in this thing, it wouldn't be that hard. The pads are pretty worn on it too, so it's used. That's so funny. Okay. <laughs> Asia, are you tightening them? No, I need them off. Off? Off. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Language barrier. <laughs> No, it, it, it was stuck, so I thought you didn't take them off yet. <laughs> Get out of here. There we go. Goodbye. Hello. <laughs> so dumb. That, that was so sensual. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Ready? Yep. So it's been uh, oh, it's been yeah. a few hours. <laughs> Austin's been editing uh, the tires, arms, finish up all the small stuff. Got the the ride height I think dialed. Give it a quick alignment. We've been here since one. It's eleven o'clock at night. But this is cars. No matter how, how small you think the list is, it's always big. We want to make sure these things are perfect. So I think we've stopped my car for the first time, which is amazing. I've heard it run, so that's always a good thing. And I really want to hear how this manifold sounds. Obviously, on the load is different, but whatever. Tom gets the thrash seat. I'm excited. I can't wait to get one in my car. Your car just got so much cooler. Dude, it's crazy how like Tom's car, like now that like these wheels look so freaking cool on his car. Like it makes me wish I had colored wheels in my car. I'm not a black wheel kind of guy, but it works with the floor. Ah, the black on the green is not bad. It's not bad. It works with the lip kit and stuff because it's a black accent. But like seeing the yellow on here made his color pop so much. You, you want to do the honors? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The oil feed on the turbo might have got a little pinch, so you want to keep your eye on that real quick for me. Ready? That's a good SR. Any leaks so far? My VTC doesn't rattle, so that's a crazy win. They always rattle. Doesn't rattle yet. I could actually delete like half those vacuum ones, so that's next on the list. We're gonna we're doing importance and then necessities and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> SR good. Rev that bitch the f up. Wait until it gets warm, alright? It's a mystery engine. Uh, that's good. Oh my god, yeah, look. Look how low oil pan is. Right. It's below <laughs> the subframe. Dangerous. Ah, okay. So, the engine mounts that are in this 
I don't know what the heck they are, but they're too low. So hmm. it's causing the that oil. problem sounds familiar. Yeah, yeah, you know that one. So the oil pan hangs really low and it brings the clutch fan really far down so it hits the shroud, which makes a crazy noise. So. It's the next day. We got a little more than five hours of sleep this time, but uh, my body is killing me. So we got a lot of work to do today, so we have to get right to it. So starting the day off, Tom, what are we doing? We're going to Rayota shop, uh, Splash Cutting Works. So he you printed guys, us pretty cool stickers. If you uh, have seen Splash on Instagram, he is one of the sickest drivers in Japan that posts online. I'll say yeah, that yeah, because yeah. not a lot of drivers post online. He's incredible, and we get to go meet him. And he made his stickers? Yeah. Which is pretty cool. So. Big, big front street stickers. Yeah? Right here? Oh, look at it. Yeah. Maybe back up right here. This is like the Mike Martino of Japan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mike Martino of Canada is splashed to Japan. Hey, good to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is. The car, this is so crazy. <laughs> haven't um, passed my freight conversion yet. Okay. But oh, you, you went to 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But We're exposing right here. <laughs> New look. We're going to cut to one of his clips right here off Instagram. That's why I smell. Sick. Yes, yes. <laughs> of course. I actually I have been watching your YouTube when you go to Ebes. Oh yeah? Yeah, and then like my friends also like driving that event like Matsuri oh, cool. and the stuff. And he, he, cool. he was really excited to meet you. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Like a, <laughs> you're, a, you're a gangster. Anywhere? Oh I'm going on the windshield. That's why we couldn't talk. Yeah. So, yeah. so I, I've mentioned this in, uh, a couple times in my videos, uh, how in Japan you'll see this a lot, but you never see this in the States, where they'll mid-mount the intercooler between the radio and, and the rad support right here. Hmm. And since the SR are so far away from the radio support, it still fits. And this is RB clutch fan? Oh uh, yeah. yeah. And you can use so, an RB shroud. So the RB clutch fan is sh shorter, right? because it makes room, so it makes room for the radiator versus the SR fan trailer that comes out the here. And then this is a water line pipe, so I could put the switch mm -hmm. and then I turn on. The it's spray. Oh, spray it's cool. comes from that side to here, and then I got a hole around here, and then get. I love that. That's, That's very cool, very cool. cool. It's like such a smart idea, and you see this so many times on like the Japanese import cars, but no one really ever does that in the States. <laughs> Tom keeps talking about no, it. No, I don't. You keep bringing it up, bro, like Please. constantly. I just keep bringing up that Behoku is the legendary track that everyone flips at. Everyone flips their cars at. So. And AG said we could damage the car as much as we want, just no flip. <laughs> so. so, actually, I showed uh, my crash flip video, but like he didn't know like was... where I flipped. So you we're, guys gonna drive yeah. in two days, right? Yeah, yeah the same days, spot that you flipped. That you flipped. Yeah. yeah, we're like, where, where'd you flip at? He goes, oh, Behoku. Yeah. We're like, ah. <laughs> Actually, like typing like drift to crash shoot, and then I don't know how to spell that one. Drift crash. crash. <laughs> <laughs> no, he just typed in drift crash into YouTube, and his video was the second video. <laughs> That's him. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, it just slides. So the you, tire. You guys are gonna shake down Tess in 48 hours. <laughs> right, yeah, right there. Right. This look. Uh, uh. Oh my god. The wheel. Just, that just, if, you, you said only thing that survived was the differential. And transmission. Yeah, right? transmission yeah. and crotch, right? Definitely don't take the roll cage out of my car, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So, <laughs> see, yeah, see, like, it broke the whole engine, yeah. Don't worry, some kid in uh, California now has that engine in his car. <laughs> <laughs> Younger me? <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god. Well, now we know, now yeah, we know. I hit that wall in uh, Aceto, so. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, that's good right there. Let me take a picture. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god. For the Instagram? Oh <laughs> I love it. Well, that was amazing. Like, that's so cool. That was really cool. To meet Splash, give a bunch of stickers, just kind of bullshitted for a while. Like, that's the best part. Like, we always say it like, no matter where you go in the world, a car guy is a car guy. We're all the same. And, it, and you get to kind of relate and have this relationship with someone. Just don't run this lady over. Yeah, but that's sorry, not run this family over. Um, <laughs> you guys get what I'm trying to say. That was amazing. About to pull up to Up Garage for the first time on this trip. So this is supposed to be the biggest Up Garage in Osaka. We were told it's a, not the best stuff at it. It's but. shit. I, ever since Kruber came out, all the cool stuff just got sold online, right? So Up Garage is kind of hit or miss. Is this a road? Yeah. No like, way. There's no way. You can't turn here. It says no, don't. No. <laughs> I mean, Apple Maps. Maybe they are roads, actually. Nice. I can see why people only want to drive K cars around here. Oh, I think you don't have enough. Stop! Oh, no, 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 no. 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 The curb? You're gonna get flat. Oh, Jimmy, stop! Uh, stop. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> cool. yeah. so what? Back up. Right now. You gotta get real close to it. Now go sh all the way up. Probably have a mile. <laughs> no, you're you good. really you got do. It. You're great. Yeah, you're good now. Oh, we're definitely dropping in the ditch. Are we dropping in the ditch? <laughs> oh, no, Jimmy, no! no! <laughs> 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 Why? Austin, did you see how thin the metal was? It was just like... <laughs> Look how skinny this is. Dude, this is oh, so oh. Yeah, right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No way. Better fit. We're not going anywhere. There's no yeah. way. Yeah, you're good. Oh. <laughs> I don't think cars are... <laughs> let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh, oh you're good. You're, it's a bush. <laughs> it's just more, the car gets more. The faster right? you go, the smaller the car gets. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. my god! It's tightening! <laughs> it's for sure tightening! <laughs> pull pull <laughs> that mirror! You're good, you're good. No, pull that mirror! <laughs> <laughs> I got so much room, my hand's not on this side! <laughs> I'm telling you! There's no Excuse way that f up garage is in the middle of this neighborhood. I don't know, but I'm <laughs> We're gonna pull up and it's gonna be up garage, it's gonna be mind blown. Here it is! Yeah. I didn't know this is the normal way to get the up garage, but here we go. So if you guys don't know what up garage is, it's, um, well, Japan's largest aftermarket car part, used car part like automotive store. Goodwill with car parts. Yeah, kind of, exactly. Confetti. Not too bad. That's actually really cheap. That's really cheap. Uh, well, not fit in my carry-on. I'll make it fit. $200 confetti. Okay, not bad. They have the most random used auto parts, though, for like the most random cars, but it's a little aero vents. These are actually kind of cool. You can cut these into a... They have a wall of battery tie-downs. <laughs> <laughs> I might get these. Charge speed, too. Yeah, these are actually really cool. So they're like N1 style vents, so you can kind of fit these in many aero bumpers. So if you wanted to like cut vents into your front bumper, make them look aggressive. For 60 bucks. Two P's up there. RBHKS adjustable cam gear. It's sick because it's the old colors. That's cool. That is really cool for 100 bucks. Yes. <laughs> um, I just got stuff for the shop like cleaning supplies and um, a tire pressure gauge. What'd you get? Just some trinkets? Yeah, trinkets, you know. Yeah, that's good yeah. for the friends. Yeah. That's it. Little gifts. 12 air fresheners. <laughs> your, car, your car stinks. Everything smells like gear oil. Yeah. <laughs> and that the Waco stuff is potent, so. All right, well, we had our fun this morning. Let's get to the shop and bust our ass for the next 10 hours. All right, so mechanically, my car is getting there. It's getting there. Uh, we found out it has R32 GTR engine mounts on it, which makes the engine way too low. Oil pan hangs, clutch fan hits the shroud, so 
AG found me some Nismo engine mounts that are gonna show up a little bit later, so we'll do those later on. But for now, let's get this thing off the list and get myself uh, my very own thrash seat and steering wheel for this car. I hate installing bucket seats, but I'm excited. The only scary part is since we're so tall, getting a bucket seat to sit low in an chassis is pretty difficult. Tom has been hammering and cutting his floor pan all morning, so these have sliders on it and we don't have a welder. <laughs> we're gonna make it work. Now we get to go pick out our very own thrash sheet, which is really cool. So that is the street spec alpha wide. So street that's, spec. That street spec alpha regular. Uh, okay. This is wide. On the street. This is about 42 different. inches. When you're driving, like 42. Big boy really? Yeah, big one. So this one's really cool. This has the bolt-in halo. Yeah. Really sick. Like yeah. so his, his rails are a lot different than mine. Actually. I can't. My, my butt cheeks can't be flexing when I drop in. <laughs> but once I'm in. <laughs> Or, I mean, I'm, just, I'm used to being tight in bucket seats, right? Yusuf was awesome enough to hook up with a seat. He wanted us in something stylish and something comfortable. And well, we got the mix of both right here. And so this ended up being the regular, right? That was, this was the regular, as yeah. you said? Yeah. So this fits my big old hips. I have like a 36 waist. So I'm cozy in there. I'm happy with it. And so now we're trying to make this thing fit with the rails. So I don't have to cut my car apart like Tom. My fucking shit don't fit. <laughs> my, luckily my bolting cage is taller than Tom's. Tom's is very low, which makes his helmet very close. So I'm trying to rig up the old brackets and make it fit. And I think it's going to work. The red on the green. Eh, in Japan it's a vibe. Yeah, it's kind of a vibe though. We got Frankie from Faction. Hey, he's got work. me in here working. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Gotta earn that Faction sticker on the car, you know? <laughs> <laughs> One thing that's sick is, right, we all love Japanese style bucket seats. They're coolest looking bucket seats. We all know it. Dorky looking bucket seat sucks. But usually Japanese style bucket seats don't fit American. But obviously Yusuf, as we heard, tailored these. He changed the moldings a little bit to actually allow us both the Americans to fit well, in these Like things. he said, this is the regular size yeah. and your big ass still fits in it. Exactly. So, they even come in a wider size. Exactly, because like as you as you guys know, brides a 3L, I barely fit in. That's a huge seat for brides. You get like the wide seats where you get like a Corvo or something like that, and Corvos they, they look they look yeah. they look cheap. Yeah, they're a little dorky. So you kind of get like everything in one. Can you get a hand in between your helmet and the roof? Um, it's. So it's heavily padded. I'm pretty used to my head being very close. The problem is if I go down more, it's not gonna give me much more head clearance, you know what I mean? Yeah. Gives me like, if I go down an inch, it gives me barely any more room. My F2 car, I'm like this. <laughs> and I know obviously it's pretty not good and unsafe, but I'm used to it. These bolt-in cages definitely aren't the tightest. It literally says low quality on the cage. Really? Yeah, it look behind. That's not, uh, maybe they miscommuni- maybe mistranslated that. We were like, I don't think you want that on your cage. That's so- Yeah, on- on- who, who wants to see that on their safety item? Yeah, low quality. <laughs> oh, shit! Ah! There we go. Surprisingly fit. The red uh, is a little much against the green. No. We're in Japan. You're this thinking is, about it too much. It's fine. This is Japan. This is like, it's fitting. Next, we gotta pick the harnesses and well, the colors keep getting crazy, so might as well keep it going. We have pink and yellow over here. I know, what, I'm pretty sure he has every freaking color you can imagine, but we're gonna start with these two. Pink actually plays off the color. Yeah, see? I actually don't hate the yellow either. <laughs> Jet Davis. The yellow's not bad. The yellow's, the yellow's not, yellow's bad, not bro. bad, bro. It kind of goes crazy. My car is still into a Harlequin at this point, so yeah. I might as well get like pink wheels and like. Run the yellow and pink Run one and one. <laughs> and run the boat on both seats. Oh, this is kind of the same color as my car. Very and it has the red on oh, these are Yeah, fun. those are good. And you said blue is like the old D1 style. Yeah, so if you look at like old Taniguchi or Wayno or any of those old 2002, 1, 3 era, blue Willens harness on the red seat. Always, without a doubt. Hmm. This I'm a also, nerd. <laughs> this is also the era of blue coupler, so I don't know. <laughs> Dude, the green. Yeah, okay, green. yeah, the green with a little bit of red in it. Yeah, that's the most. The blue kind of works too because it's the same like kind of complementary color. But I hate the color blue, so. <laughs> Obviously, usually you need a harness bar because you only want the angle of your harness is a certain angle. But we're in Japan. <laughs> We got the harness, we got the seat, and now we need a steering wheel, and Yusuf has an immense selection of steering wheels, and they're all freaking cool. We were just staring at them for like... Relief for all of your interior needs. 
thrash. Any combo, dude. They got every color scheme imaginable. So these were my last two choices here, right? I like the leather and I like the red because it kind of is subtle with the seat, but we've all agreed that this car is anything but subtle and yellow is the coolest thing ever. So, and we have to wear gloves here. So suede is nice with the gloves. So I'm thinking this one. Yes, Sound that wheel's good? so good. Also, Tom and Josh are both using it. Exactly. So, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give this away to you guys, right? I'm gonna bring this home so you got one of you guys can win this. But we gotta sweeten the pot for Yusuf here and show him some love. So they have started their own YouTube channel. They've been posting a lot of awesome content around here, and obviously they have some pretty deep ends with some really cool things here that a lot of people don't usually get to be a part of. Do you guys want to win the steering wheel? I want you to just comment, comment below, comment Thrash with a heart. Does that sound good? And subscribe to their channel. If you commented with Thrash with a heart, I'll pick a random winner. And if you're not subscribing to Thrash Racing, you can't win it. So make sure if you comment and you want to win this wheel, you gotta to subscribe to them and show them some love. One subscription and a comment. Exactly, right? Show them some love. They showed us a lot of love, so show them a lot of love. So I'll bring this home with me and uh, we'll pick a winner as soon as I get back. Show them some love below and uh, we'll make sure one of you guys gets to take home this pretty cool wheel. Let's do some YouTube magic to get rid of this thing. And boom, we got it in there. I put a pink horn button in it. It might be gaudy, but I think it looks really freaking cool in the yellow, so. <laughs> I love all the I, colors that you're I love for. it, I think it's cool, just rock it. I, honestly, I never get to do this. Like, it's not usually my style, but here, it like, kind of lets me, yeah, it, I, I don't know. There's no excuse it. for There's it, no just, excuse. just have fun with it. That's cool. It's like starting to actually feel like a real car, you know what I mean? All right, so we've been chugging along. Tom's car is almost finished up, and it looks so freaking cool. I can't wait to see what the skirts and everything back there. What's the coolest part? SR20. <laughs> SR20, dude, your engine is so nice. Yeah. Like, I just spent the last like five hours doing the little tedious the wrap stuff up stuff. That I do. Tom's car was a bear shell, like worse, worse, like, worse. It was they, a car together that was crashed, and then a bear shell. They replaced like the tower and everything. everything yeah. You just love it because there's a damn light above them. So um, <laughs> <laughs> we've been chugging along on this thing. You know, we got the bits in. Uh, I've been playing. Um, well, clean up in the engine bay. It's very Japan to just like leave things in the bay aren't being used. Leave everything in the bay. Charcoal canister stays. So, uh, AG has been working his butt off to get our cars ready. And of course, we didn't have a lot of time, so there's a couple things not finished up, so that's what we're here for. I couldn't be grateful for all the work that he's done for us so far, or else we would've been totally screwed. Uh, the last thing I have to do, which we're gonna bang out in the morning, because I got Tom to help me now. Just like Tom's car, I got all new GK Tech components, which is huge. As you guys know, GK Tech's catalog is immense, and they make very, very good, very, very beautiful components, especially for the price. We have sway bar, adjustable arms in the rear, uh, in the front, everything. We have everything we need to basically give this whole thing a complete overhaul on the suspension. With the fresh BCs, we are good to go. So it's a little tedious to get them set up and put in, but it'll be totally worth it. I'm really happy. So the last bit, an alignment, and hopefully good. Yeah. And, we gotta, and then we get to do the fun stuff, like put stickers on our cars and do all that stuff. So. And crash into each other. You got drugs so I can take tonight to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let him hold that one on. Going good? Yeah. Good. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> so we've actually been here all day. <laughs> Tidying all the cars up. We want to make sure these things are dialed. So. What the f***? <laughs> you can have as much fun as possible. Go so, now? we're finishing off giving the cars some quick alignments. And uh, Tom's having a hell of a time with doing some math calculations. Oh, piece of shit. <laughs> uh, Julian from Animal Styles actually showed up too, which is incredible. You just saw your car for the first time. What do you think of it? I have no idea what the f I'm doing. My car? I can't believe it's my car, to be honest. I think we all have that same just like... You know what's f***ed up? He looks pretty short on camera right now, but look, at, look at the stance. <laughs> His stance like that is still taller than me at normal stance. Speaking of that, we didn't Imagine mention this. Whole car falls we, off. <laughs> I'm gonna go out with my boys, bro. But, oh, and Martino is here. Hi. We got my Canadian brother here. So we, we actually, I meant to say this before. We didn't talk about it, but we had to cut the seat rail out of Tom's car right, to make a seat fit. And like all the Japanese guys were so sick. mind blown by that because they've never seen anyone do that because obviously they don't they don't have to do that here. So at least we got the GK Tech arms and they have the quick adjust on the caster, which is really nice. Yeah, I'm kidding. 
Also, I want to show you one more thing. Check this out. I wired up the lights on the combat eyes, and it actually looks way cooler than I thought it would. These little things are really bright. Holy shit. Yeah, hold back up. It looks sick. So these are the new generation of the Origin Combat Eyes for the Koki, and it uses two small. It uses just small lights versus the old ones had a big and a small. And it looks a little weird, but look how cool that one looks. It's so aggressive. It's so sick. And if you guys didn't notice, it's been a long day. Mm. Come on, I, I couldn't do it. We had the fake mirrors on it before that like looks like bat wings. Yeah. And it seemed like it cheapened the whole car. And dude. This is the first S14 Koki with a new origin driftline kit. We're gonna go take pictures of this tomorrow once we finally pull it, it out. It doesn't have the kit on it yet. Does it have, okay, well it did. Yeah. It did, sorry, the kit's over there. Um, so you guys will see that next video, but origin just did a pre-release pre on this kit. They're taking pre-orders now, and this is the first car with it. Four car. My car. Is going to be the staple for it. Of origin driftline. That's so cool. It's like disgusting. There's like so much to share, but like mind blowing. So the next video you guys will see this actually together, fully pulled out, looking good with the gamies and all the fancy bits and stuff like that. So yeah, so we should have your car, Tom and Josh's car, exactly. all pulled out. But we've been working our asses off, but um, I've never been so happy to, to do so much work. <laughs> so, I mean, this is, what I, this is what I live for. You know, we're in the shop every day and I wouldn't be able to do it if I didn't love it. Tom's super happy, he's having a great time. <laughs> We need your uh, mathematician skills. <laughs> Let's finish this up. Watch, watch some crazy shit. Wait for this. <laughs> but of course, guys, the new drop for our Japan merch with the with the windbreaker and the t-shirt. Oh, hop, hop below. Shop Jimmy. We honestly didn't order a lot of them, so get them while you still can. It's one of my favorite designs. So for now, you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Your iPhone protractor. Stay tuned for more content, and we'll see you guys very shortly.